to complete the alphabet soup project in, um, let's say uh, you weren't able to get to the uh, computers in the in Doudna and use GarageBand, and you'd like to do it, complete it at home. You can do it in Audacity. It's it's just fine to do do it that way. Um, you can download. Uh, so the first step is to download this audio file uh, to your computer. 1070 alphabet soup AIF. That is found in week two of our first module of the class. Once you get that downloaded to your computer, find it in your downloads folder. Uh, let me find it on mine here. <clears throat> And let's see, let me bring my downloads folder here. There's my file. So assuming you've downloaded and installed Audacity, you can find it if you click download, or if you type in download Audacity in Google, uh, you'll, it'll be your first, uh, your first selection there. And it's cross-platform and it's free and it's wonderful. So um, what I'm gonna do is go to import audio from the file menu in Audacity. <clears throat> I'm going to select my um, downloads folder and find the file that I just downloaded. I'm going to open it and it'll pop it into my screen here. And if I hit play, and let me make sure you can hear that. Pardon me. Okay, if I hit play. Z, Y. You'll hear that it is a playback of the alphabet being spoken backwards. And you'll notice that each letter has a unique wave shape. X, W. And that um, each R. And we can isolate each of these by selecting it like this, by dragging with a tool that looks like that. What we're going to do is we're going to create a new track. And we're going to copy and paste the letters of our name from one track to the next. And the idea is that we're going to export an audio file that is only your vo your your name. So my name, my first name, is starts with B, and I know that A B C. So this is A. This is B. I'm going to copy it with the Command C button and paste with Command V. So you can also do copy and paste from this menu, and you can see the shortcuts here. But um, I just recommend getting used to using Command C, Command V for copy paste. Uh, so R, R is up here. So I'm going to grab R, put it here. I'm going to grab A here. This is a little bit easier to do in GarageBand because you can nudge things around a little bit better. Um, but it's perfectly able to be done in Audacity as well. So my first name is spelled B-R-A-D, and I'm going to put those letters here. I believe that's correct, and let me play it back. B-Z-R-Y-D-X. So the problem is, is that I now hear both tracks. <clears throat> now I can use my mute and solo buttons to navigate this. So once I've spelled my first and my last name, I then will mute the original one and make sure that when I hit play I get all the right things B R A D okay so let's say that's my first and last name all spelled out I now will go up to export and export as mp3 you'll then save your file as a, your last name or whatever you whatever simple um, file name you'd like to give it. It'll ask you that chart you just saw was a metadata. You don't have to worry about that at this point. And pay attention to where you saved it because uh, I think I saved it to my desktop. There it is. Okay. Now this des this file is my uh, exported file. And if I, if I hit the space bar in Finder, it'll play it for me. All right, now that sounds correct to me, although yours will have both your first and last names. I'm just doing this quickly. And so you go to the folder here, and you upload your file from wherever you saved it. Now keep in mind that if you're using GarageBand, 
that. Um, and you could put comments in here if you had particular questions or comments to me. Uh, but then you can just hit submit to Dropbox and you'll get an email receipt. If you have any questions, let me know. If you're using GarageBand to do this, that's fine. Just make sure you turn off the metronome and that you rename that file to a simple uh, name, file name, uh, and that it's an MP3. Take out the slashes and colons and commas and all that weird stuff out of your file name or D2L will not accept your file. Thanks.